Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Osmo Pocket Charging Case by DJI. It's their answer to an external battery pack and carrying case. Now, right out of the package, it does have a quality feel to it. It has an anodized coating which gives it a non-slip feel and it makes it easy to handle. Now the cloth on top does give it an elegant look. I feel once it gets dirty, it's going to be a little difficult to clean. Now at the bottom it has a USB-C power port and an opening switch. Now when the battery needs to be charged, you will be made aware by the yellow flashing light. Once it is fully charged, you will get an indication by a solid green light. It took me about an hour to charge the case fully. Now once you open it, the cover rolls back in a very smooth motion and it reveals some storage compartments inside that I'll get into a little later. Right now as you can see, my camera has a low battery, about 5% battery. When inserting the camera into the actual charging case, you need to line up the contacts to get a full and proper charge. Once it's inside the case, it has a very snug feel. There's also a toggle switch on the side that once that's engaged, it'll hold your camera securely during travel. A pleasant surprise when I inserted the camera for charging was that the case didn't seem heavy at all. It still seemed pretty light and it seemed great for portability. Charging doesn't activate until the case is closed and the status indicator light will let you know when it's charging. There's also an indicator light on the front of the device that will stop flashing when the camera is fully charged. On average, it took me about an hour and 45 minutes to fully charge my Osmo Pocket. Now for $130, I was hoping to charge my camera two to three times, but the charging case only allows for one full charge, which seems unreasonable at that price. When it comes to the storage capabilities of the charging case, it actually does a nice job of allowing you to grab a quick travel case without worrying about losing or misplacing any ND lenses, SD cards, or damaging your camera while you're traveling. One thing I will warn you about is unless you have the ND lenses by DJI, you won't be able to fit four ND lenses in the case. The manual says it'll hold four, but I have Polar Pro lenses and it can only fit two inside the case. And you can forget about sneaking one lens in the case by leaving it on the camera because there isn't enough clearance to close the case with any filters or any lenses on the actual camera. Now if you look at the storage compartment, it will hold both smartphone adapters, four DJI ND lenses, or two non-DJI lenses. The nice thing about the lens holder is that it has a magnetic function on there, so as soon as you put the lens on, it snaps right in. The camera itself covers the smartphone adapters and the lenses, and you can see once I bring the case into a light, it has the lenses on the side and the smartphone adapters in the middle. It also has two micro SD card slots in order to keep you from losing them. So overall, it is a nice little travel case, but at $130, the emphasis should have been on the charging aspect. I mean, I didn't pay $130 for a carrying case and a charger. This should have been 100% charging should have been the priority. As you can see here, I did want to show that even if you leave the lens facing forward or exposed, it will still clear the case when closed and it will protect the lens. In the manual, it does say you have to face the camera to the side for protection, but the camera lens always shifts when you're putting inside, so it makes it a little tricky. So having it facing forward shouldn't be much of an issue. Now overall, I think they did a great job for size and portability, because if you compare it to the original carrying case for the Osmo Pocket, it isn't much bigger. A side-by-side -side comparison will show you that it's a little taller, a little wider, but not by much. They did a great job with the size and weight, but they sacrificed the battery capacity a little too much for my taste. Now, hopefully you liked the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you like what I'm putting out there, hopefully you can subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.